Hey guys, Mind Destroyer here. Today I'm going to be doing a theory of Sans from Undertale. So let's go ahead. Now, I'm sorry about the intro, because I don't want to do that right now, because this is something I found out a while ago. Now, so everyone who's played Undertale, they have a theory of Undertale, they have their own questions, they have their own wandering minds for the game. Well, here's mine. Here's my theory. So, let's, so let me tell you something. So, I was watching Game Theory. He said that Ness is supposedly Sans from Undertale. That Ness from Earthbound is supposedly Sans from Undertale going through that time machine trying to, well, let's just say trying to get home because in one of his dialogues in the genocide run, he says, I gave up trying to go back a long time ago, which that would make, mu make no sense unless Earthbound had a similar, had a similar similarity to, with Undertale, with a similar similarity of Undertale. Now let me show you my special, my, the, a special theory. So, you notice that once Sans, he tries to go back up to the surface, not trying to go, but instead he accidentally went down to the underground, causing him to be trapped down there along with a brother named, along with this brother named Papyrus. Now, instead he tried to go up, instead he went down, he went down, he fell down into the underground probably, and then later on he gave up on his he gave up trying to go home a long time ago, which, yeah, caused him to feel bad for what happened. So, here's my theory. That Sans was a human just as well, like us. Except, he wanted to go travel through the mountains. He fell down along with his younger brother, him and his younger brother, Papyrus, because Sans happens to be the shortest, but yet he's the oldest brother of Papyrus. So my theory is that Sans My theory is that Sans and Papyrus were once humans, yet they went to go explore the mountains. They fell down, got trapped in there for a couple of years without any with food though, but they couldn't get out. Yet they got trapped there, and they would keep. For they would remember the timelines, but yet they died through bout and through boss battles. And somehow, here's the one thing that might confuse you guys. Sans was never a skeleton until now, because he, because he says, like I said earlier, he says. He gave up trying to go back a long- oh my god. He, he gave up trying to go back a long time ago. Now, he's- and then, so, what? So, you guys are like, what? But that's no- that doesn't make- wouldn't make any sense until everything makes sense. So, we see Sans- so, in the true pacifist ending- we see that Sans goes up instead of down, but in the but um in the genocide he's down and he's dead, so that wouldn't make any sense because Sans wouldn't bleed because blood is organic matter, and in Earthbound the the time machine would of organic matter would probably be disintegrated. That's why in Earthbound, um, the scientist, Dr. Scientist, I'm going to call him that, um, made, a t made robots put killing kids, basically killing kids, putting them in a time machine with their souls in the robots. Putting them in the time machine, they went back in time. But what happened to Ness? What happened to Sans? Well, if you go back, well, here's something that might make sense. Sans, Sans and Ness 
are the same people. Because in the Halloween, um, Toby Fox made a Halloween hack for Earthbound, but not, but if there's one person in the group who's missing, I'll give you five seconds to figure that one out. Did you figure it out? If you did, type it in the comments. So, Ness, he actually forgot, he actually is Sans. Ness isn't in the Halloween hack that Toby Fox made for Earthbound. If Toby Fox did make Earthbound. But, yeah, I know some of you may be saying, but what hap But why would Toby so Fox make a ha hack of Halloween for Earthbound, but not include Ness? Probably because Ness is Sans. So, if this doesn't make sense, then your life doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. Ness and Sans, they both have their same personalities. Along with Papyrus and that Silver Guardian, they both have the same badge or symbol on their shirt. But that wouldn't make any sense. Game Theory? Game Theorist? Or whatever the heck your name is? Sorry. Um, if you're watching this, pay close attention. But, uh, same thing with everyone. But... <laughs> What happened is that Papyrus isn't the silver the silver guardian from Earthbound because in his dialogue in Sans' dialogue he says that they made that costume weeks before the game came out weeks for a costume party and Papyrus seems and Papyrus calls it his battle body so yeah. Um, what do you th what do you think about that? So yeah, um, let's continue. And then Sans, and along in his dialogue, he also said when he says it doesn't appeal to him anymore, it when he says it doesn't appeal to him either, that means he doesn't care about going back up to the surface. But in the pacifist ending, this makes more sense because Papyrus, it's says that what is that huge orb in the sky sans replies with the sun now again if that doesn't make any sense then your life doesn't make any sense but i'm sorry if, if i'm being weird but um if that doesn't make sense then i guess nothing of this would make sense but once but anime but probably sans would read anime with alphys and papyrus didn't or except for Sans was a human, but Alphys has an likes to read anime and watch anime, which includes human surfaces, including the sun, the moon, and all different kinds of rea of universes in anime. But s the question is, did Sans was Sans always a skeleton, or was he always a human, never skeleton until he used that time machine? You'll, you'll, but if he was a skeleton, he would have watched anime and read anime with Alphys. If he was human, he would already know. But this wouldn't make any sense for Papyrus, because earlier I said that Papyrus was when pa 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 that Sans and Papyrus were once humans, yet they fell down in the undergrounds. But that wouldn't make any sense, because Papyrus would still remember what the sun is. Does that make any sense, guys? So Papyrus would know what the sun is, but if they were if they were always hum if they were always humans and they were always skeletons, then that would be be behind their true story. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, make sure you make sure you click that like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I will leave and I will leave any other um special um, special notifications, like, I'm probably going to be doing some deep.io, I might be doing some other things, but yeah, um, deep.io and other things are going to be on this channel, so I, if you guys like this video, I will, if you guys like this video, um, make sure you go check out my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace out.